Hey guys, my name is Faith from J.O. Sully Island and in this video I will be telling you about some major reasons why your Ireland study visa could be denied. So there are lots of reasons why your visa could be denied. It's just the most popular ones that I'll be talking about in this video. So if you're looking to come study in Ireland and you're looking to submit your visa anytime soon, ensure to watch this video till the end because um, I'll just be talking about how you can avoid these issues from happening. So, for Ireland study visa, there's no interview. So, you could have the document there, but did you put it in a presentable way that the visa officer would be able to understand what you're submitting? Are the documents clear enough? Are the documents visible? Can somebody see it? Can somebody understand what you're submitting? You're just submitting a paper that is not really clear. Your documents need to be very visible, easy to read for anyone, not even just the visa. Just anybody would be able to understand what the document is about. So you need to make sure that you meet all the requirements. The requirements is on the Irish immigration website and it's going to be in the caption. So just go to the website and see the requirements of what you need to submit for your Ireland study visa. Although um what's listed on that website there's some situation whereby you need to attach additional documents to explain yourself to the visa officer but those are the start basic requirement for what you need to submit the first reason why your island study visa could be denied this is the most popular one is insufficient funds insufficient funds so insufficient funds mean that you don't have the money that's required for you to come study in ireland so you could have the tuition fees but do you have the cost of living amount that's ten thousand euros per year do you or your sponsor have so if you're sponsoring yourself you should have it if your sponsor is in charge of the finances your sponsor's account should have a minimum of ten thousand euros in their account after your tuition has been paid in full so if for example maybe you paid 60 percent of your tuition fees your sponsor is expected to have 40 percent of the school fees that's the balance of your school fees plus the ten thousand euros so if you have anything less that less than that amount then it's insufficient funds so you need to ensure you are meeting the financial requirement because ireland they don't want you to come here and become stranded they don't want you to become stalled they don't want you to be stranded here in ireland they don't want you to come seek any public funds here in Ireland. So that's why you're showing you are capable of looking after yourself for the duration of study. But, so they don't want you to be a burden on the state. They just want you to come here, do your study, look after yourself, and that's it. So if you have anything less than the amount that you're supposed to have, then you don't have the complete money. Even if you have... Um, maybe 9,500 is still insufficient funds because what they require per year is 10,000 euros per year. So if you have 9,500 and you're short of 500 euros, it's still insufficient funds. You need to ensure that you have from 10,000 and above. That's why we recommend that um, you have a little bit of excess just in case there's any fluctuation because sometimes the fluctuation could just skyrocket all of a sudden and the day maybe the day they are reviewing your documents then they convert it and then you see that it's less than the amount so you're better off having excess a bit of excess we know ten thousand is a lot but it's just recommended to have extra money on top of that ten thousand euros that's if for example you've paid your tuition in full but if you have not paid your tuition in full then you need to have the balance of your tuition fees plus ten thousand euros in your account so the second reason why your island study visa could be denied is no link to sponsor, no proof of ties to sponsor. So you have a sponsor, but they want to know who that person is to you. What relationship do you have with the person? Is the person your father? Is the person your mother? Okay, you said the person is your father. So what are you submitting then to say, okay, this is to show that this person is really my father. So you can show birth certificates. You can show marriage certificate for example if maybe you and the person had the same son name at one point in time 
but then when the person got married there was a name change you just show the person's birth certificate and then you also show the marriage certificate as well it's not about just having somebody that can provide the money who is that person to you because it's a lot of money why will a stranger want to sponsor you <laughs> why when they have their own family members that they can sponsor why you what's the reason for them to sponsor you so that's why it actually makes sense because it's a lot of money just think of it anyways why would somebody wants to want to spend um such amount of money for your tuition fees and also for your cost of living think of it see so it's just your immediate family members father mother uncle auntie that can be your sponsor for ireland study visa so if you are looking to say you want to, your friend to be your sponsor honestly that's not feasible because why is your friend sponsoring you so your friend don't they have someone else that is close to them like their immediate family that would even need that sponsorship don't they so you need to really show what evidence you are submitting to show that you have ties with your sponsor so you can submit your birth certificate for that to show you have your link to your sponsor and like i said you can also submit your marriage certificate and then there's something else if your sponsor has the money it's not about just having the money in their account what is the source of your sponsor's funds is your sponsor a businessman is your sponsor working you need to show what your sponsor is doing and how your sponsor got that money it's not about having a large sum of money in your account you need to tell the immigration officer that the money is from this particular source or from that particular source so if for example your sponsor is a businessman you need to include your cac registration document you also need to include your tax parent certificate and just anything that will show that you're really a business person it's not about having the money you need to show that your money is clear your money is clean and you're doing your the money in your account is legal and not illegal of course that's why you need to show as much evidence to say okay I'm a businessman here yeah, i'm attaching my um, cac registration documents i'm attaching the invoices for my business just documents to prove that you really have a business like i said so even if you're sponsoring yourself just know that it's not by having um over 50 million euro in your account you have that money but where did you get it it's not like that saying your money is not good but you just need to show them that the money is was made legally you need to also show them how the money came about so it just applies to you as well if you're sponsoring yourself and you're working you need to show that you are actually working and the salary you're getting every month is definitely enough to meet up with the kind of amount that you have in your account so it just makes sense to visa officer the third reason why your island study visa could be denied is you submitting forged documents so what do I mean by that? Submitting things that are not real, faking documents, it's not just allowed. You could even get a ban for that if you're caught doing that. So we do not recommend you submit what you don't have. If you don't have it, you don't have it. There's no point just faking documents for submission and then you just submit and you're scared because you don't know what could happen. You could get a ban for that. And if you get a ban, it's not really good. So you're better off just submitting just genuine documents real documents that even if they go to verify is this real they can see that it's okay this document is really it's genuine the reason why your island study visa could be denied is the choice of course so you're picking a master's in a course that's totally different from your bachelor's degree the course is totally different from your work experience you just want to jump from a to z but for example you have a bachelor's in fine arts and then you have been working as a customer support representative and then you're not coming to do masters but you now want to do masters that is totally different maybe you now want to go and do a master that is in pharmacy it's not a, it's not straight it's just like this there's no connection there needs to be a connection as to okay for example maybe you have work experience in that field is even different although some fields are regulated like for, especially for healthcare i'm just using that as an example just to explain like you diverting from 
your initial initial bachelor's degree and also diverting for your work from your work experience and then going on to do a master's in another course it's okay if you want to change career but you might need to then apply for a pgd rather than a master's especially when you don't have any reason why you're going for the course you don't have any um, work experience at all but it's just better for you to do something that is related to your bachelor's or your work experience just both of them because if it's not related then they'll be wondering why the big switch although there could be some instances where you could try to convince them on the reason why you're changing but it's not worth it just pick something that's in your line if you do good research you'll see that there are good courses in that field that you thought okay wasn't good but even if there are no good courses in the place that you thought wasn't good you can also use your work experience to link to your course that you're coming to study but it just needs to be a link it can't just be just there there needs to be a link on what you've been doing since you finish your school what you're coming to study now Ireland study visa could be denied is um you're not accounting for educational gaps so since your last time of study what have you been doing you need to tell them they need to know what you've been doing if you've been working you need to say okay i've been working since i finished my school so any educational gap that you have you need to explain and account what you were doing you need to show what you were doing at that time if you were working you need to say i was working from this year to this year so they know what you were doing at that time you cannot just apply and expect them to know or guess what you were doing at that time you need to tell them they need to know you need to account for any educational gap that you've had since your last period of study Another reason why your island study visa could be denied is you didn't state an obligation to return. So you didn't sign the declaration to say you were going to return back to your country after completing your study. So some people, for example, they have their jobs waiting back for them. When they finish, they can go back to continue working. Some people, they have um, landed properties to show that okay they have ties back in nigeria for example if you're married you need to say okay you're going to definitely return back to your family which you let whom you left back home so as you complete your study you're going back to meet your family so if you're married you can use your kids as that one for that one mm -mm. so um, another reason, another another reason why your Ireland study visa could be denied is that you did not show that you were going to return back to your country after completing your study. So, for example, if you have a family, um, you can just um, include it in your letter to say you are going back to be with your family after completing your course. If your job is waiting for you or you have a job offer waiting for you or something like that. You need to also let them know if you have landed properties you need to include it in your application to say okay you have properties back back home which you're going to so you need to also include an obligation to return in your statement of purpose to say what you what your plans are to say maybe if you have business if you have family if you have children and you're going back to nigeria you need to point that out to them so they know that you have reason to go back to your country you also need to state that you're not going to stay in ireland after your visa has expired so you're signing the declaration stating that you are going to be legal during your stay in ireland and if you're not legal you have to leave before the visa before you get illegal you need to move out of ireland something like that so that's basically the major reasons why your visa could be denied like i said there are lots of other reasons but i just hint hint on the most popular ones um if you're looking to come to in ireland please do well to contact us contact us on our social media pages contact us on facebook instagram youtube yeah, just contact us anyway just get in touch uh, we are now accepting applications for 2025 january intake so if you're looking to come southern ireland in january you need to start planning now you need to start making your preparation 
you need to start organizing your documents so that everything just makes sense at the right time when you're submitting so it's not too early to start just send us a message to kickstart your process and we'll go from there thank you for watching bye